the agreement is legitimate if it contains uh, clear provisions uh, uh, regarding human rights that will be implemented, clear conditionality and not an agreement that will in fact uh, uh, paradoxically lead to the fostering, strengthening of the regime with no uh, more than just marginal changes uh, uh, for the Cuban uh, citizens and uh, for the civic society. What uh, we, we want to achieve is uh, being in a position to promote uh, sustainable development, pr uh, promote uh, human rights and democracy in Cuba, uh, seek common solutions to, to, uh, to global issues like for example climate change and so on. And we would like to be in a position uh, in where we can we accompany uh, processes inside Cuba, for example the economic uh, and social modernization process and reform process that is going on in Cuba for a few couple of years now. No transition has started in Cuba. Only the Cuban people cannot participate. And for the Cubans to participate, we need to be consulted. We need a plebiscite and we hope that the Europeans to support that basic right. People need freedom, basically, freedom. They need food for the children. You know, like they have everywhere else in the world, uh, like they have here in, uh, in, uh, in Belgium. That's what they need, the same. They need democracy. Well, first of all, I think that uh, we need uh, uh, to uh, uh, provide uh, the uh, representatives of the Cuban uh, civil society with recognition. Secondly, uh, the agreement and all the process has to lead to transition. And thirdly, we need to see a change uh, of uh, the situation of ordinary Cubans and we need to see uh, real democratization of the society uh, and uh, of uh, the, the institutions in Cuba.